students welcome to Sunil Shri Tovey and Sunil Nagani and today we will be doing this chapter called as data interpretation. Let's see the next sum guys. Can you see the sum please? They say refer to the graph given below which shows the currency ratio from 17th December to 24th December and answer the question. So the first graph shows you dollar to pound. The second dollar shows yen to dollar. That means in the first case, one pound is equal to, for example, if I consider the 17th December date, if I consider the 17th December date, I'll get one pound, the denominator is one unit per pound, right? So one pound is 1.4 dollars. Now if I consider the 17th December date, one dollar is 107.5 approximately yen. And the third is rupee dollar graph. So, one dollar is 45.5 rupees. Once you can read the graph, remember whatever is in the denominator, that will be one. Okay? Let's start. On 19th December, how many yen would amount to 4,000 rupees? Right? Answer 61. On 19th December. Right? On 19th December, let's see, one dollar on 19th December, one dollar was approximately equal to. Uh, uh, I'm doing the yen, yen dollar graph only, na? On 19th December, one dollar was approximately equal to 106.5, right? Or 107.3. 106 106.9. Just randomly, I'm taking it's between 106 and 107. 106.5 is between 106.5 and 107. So I'm randomly taking a figure. Right? Okay. Uh, on 19th December, one dollar. This is yen. On 19th December, one dollar was 46 rupees. Right? Both are one dollar. Therefore, I can say yen and rupee, right? 106.9 yen is 46 rupees. They are saying that 4000 rupees is going to be how many yen? Therefore, x is 4000 into 106.9 divided by 46. Suppose, sir, if I take 107, you will get approximate answer. Approximately, it should come 9, to 9300. 9300 yen. Next. If the yen dollar ratio follows the same trend from 24th to 27th December as it followed from 21st to 24th December, then what will be the value of $50 on 27th December? Right? Now, uh, from 21st, they want yen dollar ratio. Yen dollar ratio. Right? From 21st to 24th December. Now, on 21st December, yen dollar ratio. One dollar was 107 yen and it became 107.5 yen. Right? So, from 21st to 24th December, the yen increased. From 107 to 107.5, so that means I can say percentage increase was 107.5 minus 107 upon 107 into 100. So it must have increased by approximately 0.46%, which I can take as 0.5%. From 21st December to 24th December, the value of yen increased by 0.5%. Now they are saying that. The same trend is followed from 24th to 27th December. Therefore, same trend from 24th to 27th December. Right? That means it will increase by so much. Therefore, value on 27th December. 24th December was 107.5. And it is supposed to increase by 0.5%. So 0.5 means add 0.5 to 100. This will come to approximately 108 yen. Right? That means 1 dollar is 108 yen. 
they are saying that you have how many dollars? Fifty dollars. Fifty dollars will be equal to how many yen? Five thousand four hundred. Five thousand four hundred yen. A stereo costs four hundred dollars. A person has eighteen thousand two hundred rupees, two twenty-five pounds, and thirty-five thousand yen with them. He will be able to buy the stereo on twentieth December in which currency? Right? Now, let's see this. We are talking about twentieth December. Right? On twentieth December. Uh, one pound is one point six dollars, right? You have how many four hundred dollars? If you have four hundred dollars, that means how many pounds will you have? X will be equal to uh, four hundred upon one point six. How much? Two fifty pounds. Right. Okay. And uh, next, on twentieth December, one dollar. Twentieth December is hundred and six yen. You have four hundred dollars. That means how many yens do you have? Four hundred into hundred and six. Some of these help me calculate this. Forty-two thousand four hundred. Forty-two thousand four hundred yen. Okay. This was the A part, B part, C part. One dollar on twentieth December is forty forty-five point five rupees. You have four hundred dollars. That means how many rupees do you have? Four hundred into forty-five point five. Eighteen thousand two hundred. How much is the stereo for? With four hundred dollars, you will get eighteen thousand two hundred rupees. A person has eighteen thousand two hundred rupees, right? So out of the three answers, you should have had. You have two twenty-five pounds, and the stereo is for two fifty pounds, so you cannot buy it in pounds, right? Uh, the stereo is for thirty-five thousand yen, and you have forty-two thousand yen. You have much more than that. It is only in rupee that you have exact amount. Therefore, in which currency will you buy it? Rupees. Rupees. Answer will be rupees. Right. Next question sixty-four. Right. On fifteenth December, the rupee-dollar ratio was forty-six point five. On that day, five thousand rupees would fetch. On fifteenth December, one dollar was forty-six point five rupees. You had five thousand rupees. So how many dollars did you have? Five thousand divided by forty-six point five. Some of these help me calculate this. Okay. Now, have they given you the uh, pound dollar ratio for fifteenth December? No. They have given you only from seventeen. As dollar. Pound ratio for 15th December is not given. Therefore, the answer cannot be determined. The answer cannot be determined. Right? That finishes that sum. We stop this here for the day. Thank you very much.